I hope you're having a great week. This video falls on the heels of what I eat in a day. As I was reading through your comments, it seems like the follow-up question was, okay, so what kind of supplements do you take in a day? It's something that you have asked me and I'm very, very happy to deliver. Let me start off by saying, that this is my supplement protocol that was based on a formula between me and my healthcare provider or my wellness provider. As you know, I'm very much into functional medicine. So this is a plan that was derived from primarily blood work. And I talked about this in my New Year's resolution video. In fact, my last resolution was get your blood work done. It's so important to have a roadmap of what's happening inside. And that was the starting point for this plan. Secondly, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not a prescriber. This is purely my system. And as I talk about the health benefits of the supplements, the benefits that are stated come from either the manufacturer themselves or from those in the medical industry. These are not my sentiments or statements about these products. So let me walk you back to the very beginning and how all of this started. Like I said, it comes from a very well thought out and timely uh, dialogue with your wellness provider and extensive blood work. So I work with a practitioner that does a full panel and after I get my blood work back. I have pages and pages of numbers to comb through and to discuss with her about what does all of this mean. And sometimes the labs will break it down and, and they'll show you where you're high and where you're low. So this for me was a wonderful starting place to take a look at what's happening inside of me, what I'm doing well, where my body is deficient, and how I can possibly aid and assist through lifestyle, which as you know, includes my diet, my exercise, my rest, and also supplementation to either fix numbers or I look for supplementation to provide, let's say, goals that I'm looking for in other areas that might not show up in my blood work. So again, this is an ongoing relationship and dialogue with my wellness practitioner to come up with this plan. And I'm going to walk you through what my plan looks like and how I got here. First off, and I'll start here uh, left to right, and the first thing that I take is a multivitamin. And this one is Aloe Alt's Daily Best Ultra Multivitamin. It's a once a day. It has everything in it, which is why I like it. I take it for bone health. It has all the B vitamins along with vitamin D, boron, and zinc. There's cardiovascular health, providing coenzyme Q10, lycopene, lutein, vitamins A, C, and E, mixed carotenoids, a B complex, um, so I feel like I'm hitting everything in here. There's chromium, there's calcium, there's uh, lipotrophic factors like choline and insitol, which support fat metabolism and myelin sheath health. So again, it's an all encompassing supplement for me. And as I was looking for a multi, I wanted to make sure that I was having basically a cover. And from there, I would then work with my practitioner and figure out areas where I was deficient and areas where I needed extra supplementation on top of that. But that was my starting point. Next up is a vitamin D3 that I take. It's 5,000 I use once a day. Vitamin D3 is known to provide cardiovascular support. It's said to help protect the central nervous system, offering improved immune system function, supports optimal bone health, which is important for me as a woman, and it ensures that blood levels of calcium are high enough to meet the body's demands. Vitamin D, as I've learned and as I saw in my blood panel, was something I was deficient in, and as I learned from my provider, a lot of people are deficient in vitamin D. And the reason for that is we're not getting as much sun exposure as we used to. She said that because we are uh, conscious of skin care, skin cancer, we're using a lot more sunscreen, we're spending less time in the sun, and therefore we're not getting the health benefits that the sun has to offer. And so anyway, an extra supplementation on that was very important for me to get my levels up. She also mentioned that 
uh, supplementing for vitamin D needs to be regularly monitored in blood work because you don't want to get it too high. So this was based on my number and it brought me into an optimal level of where I needed to be. But it was very important that I was able to see that in my blood work and know where my starting point was and where I've wound up and how I'm able to maintain that. So next on my list is something that works in conjunction with vitamin D and this is vitamin K. Mine is uh, Bronson vitamin K triple play. It's got 100 MCG of K1, 450 MCG of K2. Uh, this one is also said to be essential for helping to build strong bo bones and providing support for a healthy heart. Vitamin K is said to regulate the calcium in your body by promoting calcification of bone and reducing calcification of soft tissue. So these two together uh, were prescribed for me as being something great for my bone health. Now, you may be saying, well, why isn't there an extra calcium in here? I have calcium in my multi, so it's not something that I need to take additionally. So next up is something I don't know if you've heard of, but it's iodorol. And this is something that I take along with my compounded thyroid. I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism a long time ago. I've been doing compounded thyroid to help with that. But iodorol is a high potency iodine and potassium iodine. This one's at 12.5 milligrams. It's said to be an essential element of iodine and potassium and it's formulated to supporting thyroid health. So this works with my thyroid supplementation uh, to complement that. Next is something for overall immune health and wellness, and this is zinc plus selenium. It's got 15 milligrams of zinc and 200 mcgs of selenium and 0.25 of copper. Zinc plays an important role in immune function, protein synthesis, cell division, even wound healing. If you, for instance, go to your drugstore and sometimes I'll pick up a Zycam if I'm starting to not feel well, it's great at helping to ward off or minimize the effects of a cold. So this is sort of my immune booster, especially during the winter months, to keep me healthy and well. Um, it also protects the body from oxidative damage and infection. So I find this combination to be great, part of my overall wellness plan so that I don't get sick. Next up, and this also plays into that, and this is vitamin C, and it's a very high dose of vitamin C, 1,000 milligrams per serving. Vitamin C is said to promote a healthy heart, enhances your immune system, and helps protect against damaging free radicals. What I've been told by my practitioner is that if I start having allergy symptoms or I feel a cold coming on, to really increase that vitamin C to several of these tablets, three or four a day, to help my immune system fight off what's going on. So I will bump that up even more if I feel I need it, if I feel I'm trying to fight something, or keep it at 1,000 or 2,000 just for regular and daily maintenance. The next one is uh, berberine and micro PQQ. Berberine HCL at 500 milligrams, PQQ at 10 milligrams. You may not have heard of this one before, and this is a recent addition to my uh, protocol here. Uh, but it says that researchers have discovered that your mitochondria, which are energy factories within your cells, actually drive your body's aging, and they undergo damage and mutations. So berberine and PQQ QQ has been known to help protect mitochondria from oxidative damage, promotes growth, and supports immune, neurological, and cognitive functions. So I sort of see this as my long-term goal and plan uh, to have healthy mitochondria and healthy function as I age. Next is a no-brainer, and that is a probiotic, but this one also has a prebiotic in it and mood-boosting uh, power as well. It is a 30 billion CFUs probiotic, nine strains, and prebiotic GOS. Now, this product claims that anxiety and mood issues could be in your gut. 30 billion CFU with optimal strains for mood and digestion make it a high potency probiotic so it offers digestive immune and mental support. What's important and the reason why I feel it's important to work with a healthcare provider in formulating a plan is that you want to make sure that you're not crossing over when it comes to supplements. So for instance, if a multi had a probiotic in it or high levels of vitamin D, I would then adjust my extra supplement of vitamin D because you don't want things to get too high. So it's very important to make sure that 
there's not much overlap and if there is it's not too much so again this was something that was well formulated for me but uh, probiotic is so very important for digestive and I believe gut health it to be very important as well next up is a little kind of one-two punch when it comes for fat burning and metabolism. This is fermented apple cider vinegar with cayenne pepper in it. It's got 500 milligrams of apple cider vinegar, 100 milligrams of the cayenne. Apple cider vinegar and cayenne pepper have been known to support a healthy metabolism, helping to maintain insulin sensitivity after a high carb meal and curbing hunger. A lot of people will take straight apple cider vinegar, mix it with water, even cayenne, add it to liquids. The taste to me is a little too much, so I prefer it in capsule form, but at least I know I'm getting it and it's helping my metabolic rate at the same time. Next on my list is a product that my stepmother introduced me to, and it's serapeptase. This is 40,000 SU. Uh, serapeptase is an enzyme that's been shown to reduce pain and inflammation by thinning the fluids associated with inflammation. It's been used for respiratory health, heart health, arthritis, fibrocystic breasts, mucus buildup, and muscle inflammation. So, you know, from all the reading and research I've done and the discussions I've had, inflammation is sort of the buzzword for what's going wrong in our body so to be able to minimize inflammation I've been told is key and so to have a supplement that's said to help with that uh, is something that I wanted to add to my list next up and and now we're dealing with female issues and this one is optimal dim estrogen balance at 200 mg's um, dim has been said to have anti-cancer properties may help with the reduction or elimination of menopause uh, symptoms hot flashes assist in weight loss hormonal acne reduction and restore energy dim is said to help restore a better ratio of estrogens so obviously as a woman going through menopause and dealing with night sweats and you know all those fun things having uh, a little extra arsenal to deal with that is very important for me so I've added that one to my list as well as this little guy next to it and this one I found just from doing a search online and it's, uh, it's called Staying Cool Vitex and Black Cohosh Hot Flashes Menopause Relief. And you guys are great because as I would post about menopausal symptoms and hot flashes and things like that, I had a lot of you chime in and say Black Cohosh has been a real big helper for you. So this product has it and it's got um, uh, Vitex Chase Tree Berry, like I said, Black Cohosh, Magnolia, Hops, and St. John's Wort, all of this without soy. This one also has vitamin D, B complex, zinc, and selenium. So again, I've got to look at those numbers, make sure that I am not crossing over with my other supplements and getting too high. So again, it all has to come into balance, which is why, again, I always state, work this out with a healthcare provider if you are wanting to embark in a supplement plan. Last but not least, and collagen is all the buzz these days. As you know, collagen is what makes our skin look good and plump, our hair, our nails, our bones, all of that. So. I'm supplementing with it and this is one that I take on an empty stomach in the morning since I don't eat until later as you guys learned but this supports all of the external in keeping it healthy and young so I'm all about that you know as we age our skin gets dry our nails get brittle our hair gets thin you know we're just we, we just want that youth and vitality of yesteryear but also understanding that we're not going to be what we were in our 20s and guess what I don't want to be but if I can help my body in those areas to be stronger and healthier then I will so these are my supplements and how I came to this system. Uh, what I will tell you is if you embark on a supplement plan, you will realize that some require one a day, some two, some may need to be taken on an empty stomach, some on a full stomach. So what I have found to be very helpful is I purchased one of these um, vitamin trays, and this is a weekly tray, and it's got AM and PM, and that way I can divide my supplements. I, I like to lay it out on a Sunday, you know, come home after church and sort of map out my week and I'll, I'll put my supplements in this container so I know what I need to take, when I need to take it. It's, it's done, it's in my pantry and I just pull it out and pop them because 
literally going through these one by one every day could be a 20 minute process and nobody's got time for that. So I, I hope this was a helpful video for you. I really appreciate your requests. You guide me as to the type of content that you're looking for and it makes it so simple for me. I want this to be a targeted platform. I want what I produce to be something that suits your needs. So at this moment, I'm going to ask for comments and suggestions, any questions that you might have or what you're looking for in future videos. Please let me know below in the comment section. It's such a big help for me. Um, I encourage you to be well, whatever that means and whatever that looks like, but I'm happy to share with you how I get there and this is part of my equation. So with all your healthy living and goals for 2019, go out, be bold and be blessed and I will see you next Thursday at one o'clock. Bye-bye.